So, uh, hello. Um, I will try to to give my talk. So, uh, that's my name. I'm Sh Shafi for Shafi. As, pronounce as as you wish. Okay, what's this about? So, it's about network of network management. So, uh, who uh, who uh, who is using from you uh, using uh, network devices or doing something? You, oh my God. Yeah. So, do you know what's SNMP or MIPS or? Okay, that's good. We have uh, some ideas. Okay, uh, in this talk, I will try to help uh, to and to find out answer to common problems. Uh, uh, try to um, give uh, more information about uh, configuration method like SLI, SNMP, and something like this. So my MP tools and some future plan and some ideas. Uh, why we need network management uh, in ISP? Yes, uh, in middle size ISP, not a small ISP, because we have a bunch of clients. We have a uh, several operators, we have uh, some different uh, access technology like a VSAT, like D, uh, DSL, like a fiber, and it's uh, very different and uh, sometimes it's very hard to, uh, to solve problems. So, uh, you cannot control everything. Yes, you, you can uh, hire some network uh, administrator, but it's very uh, expensive. So, anyway, you, you need something like this, okay. Um, one note, historical network device is, uh, have a good documentation and uh, has a stable syntaxes. For example, in Cisco, when you, when you write uh, no shutdown, it's uh, shut, uh, it's uh, up in interface, so it's, uh, taking, uh, it's very stable. So, because it's uh, focused to do a specific job, there is a uh, good standards, uh, uh, to uh, to provide uh, operation with network devices. Yes, simple network management protocol, SNMP. It's good, yes. So, uh, now it's, it was a success like NetConf, but I don't have any uh, any open information about this and some don't see uh, some uh, implementation which is using NetConf. Okay, um, so let's go deeper. Um, some about uh, another item is CDP, LDP, maybe you, you heard of this. It's after discovery protocol in some VLAN, in some broadcast domain, which can uh, give you information where and how uh, network devices are connected. Well, for example, I will some example. So, this port by this IP connected by this, 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 so. It's uh, from one device who has a too many IP address to another device who has uh, some, some IP addresses. Um, we have, uh, unfortunately, we have uh, only two ways to control network device. One is SNMP, it's a uh, standard, industrial standard, and SLI, that's it's, uh, some work around or something not good. Okay, uh, some uh, bit about SNMP. So, the old and very stable, flexible technology, it's very flexible. You have a built-in uh, types, like old octet string, some binary, and uh, it has a standard MIPS. MIPS are um, basic uh, libraries which provide, uh, cover mainly network tasks. For example, adding route, adding uh, delete route, uh, turn, out, uh, turn off uh, interfaces, uh, achieve inf information and something like this. But if you have uh, something like a non-specific, like a DSL or something like, like this, you need uh, some proprietary MIPS and that's a problem. Um, SLI, oh, well, we, are, we are working uh, every day with this. So it's uh, not a good solution because it has some limitation. I will, I will tell about um, in some slides, so uh, don't use, so uh, of course you don't use, need to use Telnet. Uh, try to use NetSSH Pure, not RX or something like this, because NetSSH is uh, working, uh, working normal. So if it's non-standard uh, Huawei, for example, uh, 
uh, behavior. So something we are typing also, or we need uh, uh, twice n times, something like this. So it's normal in SSH2. Main uh, disadvantage of SLA, yeah, it's delays. You cannot uh, adding a bunch of uh, interface or creating valence very, very fast. Uh, it's SSP is more faster than SLA, yeah. Now have a standard. Yes, it's the uh, zoo of syntax. For example, in Alcatel we have a, a one syntax. In Juniper we have another syntax. In Cisco we have another syntax. Advantages: every device has this, so uh, it's very stable. In even in Chinese device, <laughs> I have some pain is working there. Flexible user rights and logging. For example, you can. Uh, um, configure something like TACAX plus or something like this and you can see what uh, command this user uh, was typed. So it's very flexible. Um, so many my pitfalls. Uh, as usual, we don't have MIP. It's uh, really hard to do SNMP walk. It's common to achieve all object identification and it's give me oh very huge. Another problem, always changing by version. Hello, Huawei, it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, their problem. Another problem, uh, common problem, is interface IDs are changing. It's a very usual problem, is asking in Russian forums. Um, so, SNP is slow, it's bad, no, it's not slow, you, you just uh, get bulk, not get next. And main, main security reason, please don't use SNMP without access list or uh, uh, or via EDP, because it's uh, uh, there's a real uh, spoofing and ap amplification attack. Maybe you know, for example, uh, NTP gives you uh, 100 amplification. For example, SNP can give you more than more than uh, 400 amplification. For example, you can say one byte and ask for, for, for 400 bytes. So it's not so security. Uh, yeah, no MIP. Sharing, changing, so use SLI. Um, of course, that's no way we are using in our company uh, something like this. Uh, these are, you know, these adventures. Uh, we don't have a like something like a standard, something like a standard dictionary. So I think community or, or we can produce some LRFC very, very, for example, we, if you need to give Avalon, we, uh, we can build over standard, okay. Build Avalon, so and realization is, will be dependent by uh, library. So I think it's, it's my idea. Changing interfaces, so it's very simple. You use this command or this command. Uh, so one thing that's uh, trying uh, it uh, keeps uh, interface indexes uh, persistent. Uh, okay, another one. Mm. Starting from second version SNMP. You can get all information about what you need by get bulk request, uh, which get a table by once, and it's good. It's very fast. Don't use a, uh, please don't use uh, get next get bulk request. It's easy and it's uh, change uh, to new versions uh, SNMP with TCP or secure access, as I, I was told. Uh, modulus. Yes, we have an SNMP, it's classical, it's good, it contains uh, all what, what we need. Uh, only, as I know, only two languages has a very good documentation about SNMPs. One is uh, our Perl, another is Erlang. Uh, so if you want to do it in an unblockable way, use any even SNMP, just as... Uh, or, or, or if you if you want to do it easily, use SNMP info. It's really easy. You, you don't you, you don't uh, you don't know the or or it's you can just uh, telling. I need this CDP devices. I need this CDP table, and it give you. To, you don't need uh, some MIPS. Um, last, uh, which system we are have to this? Yes, we have a NEDI. It's, yeah, I'm a, there is an open source uh, system which are uh, trying, trying to live. It's not a uh, legacy, I think. 
Nedi is good systems. It building it have a graphics or something like this. Net Disco is a good uh, system, uh, and our our system, of course, is Iron Lake is good, yeah, but it has a uh, too much legacy card, and not so web mo modernish, and but inc but includes a building support. So, uh, it's uh, I will demonstrate this if you, if you, if you want. Um, so, some live presentation maybe. Oops. Okay, one second. Okay. For example, um, okay, uh, calls receiving uh, operator opens something like this. There is too much information, and it's try to diagnose line. For example, where is uh, red color? That's the problem. For example, uh, this operator is not, not be, uh, internet is not working because it has a negative dip deposit. But it's line good. Uh, internet is up. Uh, optical power is good, so also we have a see is IPTV working or not, so it's really easy. So also we have uh, something like a start port, or open ticket, uh, turn off, turn on um, IPTV or something like this. Um, that's another with ADSL. Uh, so it's a payment information, graphics one of them are left is our net flow graphic um, so so oops. so uh, I think that's all if you have any questions please ask uh, so yes I know that's a very specific term but anyways okay how about uh, SNMP support in uh, modern uh, versions of SNMP in all network devices? It's Do good. they uh, support so uh, SNMP? If, if, if you can free? get a MIPS, uh, that's no problem. Well, if you don't have a Git, or use SLI or try to do SNMP walk and try to find which OS you need. Um, my God, I know this guy. Uh, two questions. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, the, the first one uh, you mentioned there's only two way, uh, two, two ways: SNMP and CLI. Right? Yes, mainly. What about TR69, for example? Uh, oh, uh, there's a lot of CPEs out there which support TR69, which is a standardized. Yeah. Way of yes, I, I know. Stuff. It's for uh, end end user devices mainly. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I think about this, but I don't have too too much time to implement this. As I know, in Perl we have uh, two modules, uh, so it, it seems to be work, but uh, not uh, all end user device supported. Because we are, as you, as you can see, we are using ADSL modems, and some Chinese modems don't know what is this. Okay. Right, and the second question is, I mean, when, when, when you were talking about CLI and also talking about, I mean, devices are different and support different things, and there's a lot of devices out there that do not support SSH, right? So uh, do, do you uh, go yeah, to yeah. Telnet or what do oh, you do yes, in uh, such tel situations? Telnet is unsecure, as, as you know. Um, some device uh, has a console port, of co you can configure it by console port if you can uh, do this. So yes, uh, yes, but I don't have uh, so rare device who don't, uh, who don't support SSH. Yeah, I have... Uh, some old device who support only SSH version one. But anyway, SSH is in everything. Yes, I know you're working in uh, some uh, mobile oper operation and there is too much rare, rare hardware, but. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, you mentioned that there are two ways to connect. Uh, actually, which one would you recommend and uh, uh, which one do you actually use? Uh, SNMP. SNMP is mo more stable, more, more good, and more predictable. So it's, it's standard. So I just think that uh, we can uh, learn some interesting things from network device. For example, we have a servers, we have a our program using different syntaxes, but uh, it can be uh, uh, 
it, it can be configured by uh, something like SNMP. Yes, SNMP have uh, some limitation. Uh, limitation uh, first is uh, you can uh, get a value uh, faster than one second. Another, uh, it's uh, not not very compact and very fast. For example, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, one of the reasons because some Nagios and Zabbix using own agents, we can produce what uh, gives uh, to center uh, information what they need, and it's very uh, compact and fast, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> um, another questions? Yeah, there is a lot of configuration that cannot be done by SNMP in most yes, routers. I, I so you probably need a combination, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I just suggest let's try to build some new some new standard or something like this. For example, we will have Apache or something Nginx. We, we can build some like a standard MMIPS, for example, for give to this uh, user in this directory some uh, um, some. Uh, HT access or something, uh, mod, mod tail parameter, we, you can, can standardize it and it's uh, all web frameworks can do this. For them. That's a normal, uh, normal idea, I, I think. So, so, but they tried. They they yes, I know, but I don't have any normal uh, realization of this o open source. Yeah, I um, should probably have created a talk by myself, but I work, work for Telenor, and we automatically configure 600,000 routers in our network. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very interested in this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How do you back up all those devices? What, I don't understand. How do you back up all those devices? Mm, pick up all devices. The, the configuration. Do you back up the configuration? Uh, yeah, we are doing backup. Automatically? Not. Uh, we have uh, not, not so often. We have a schedule which uh, past configuration or TTP or something like client who, who go to the device and just okay, copy startup config or copy running config to backup server by SSH, okay. by SCP. Yes, that's a standard. So um, another uh, problem of what I have in my system that is very not more modernish. So I want to try to find something uh, which uh, provide me fast rat. So after after crude, I will try to uh, rewrite this to a normal because it's uh, really ugly. It's using my, oh my god Oracle. It's using CGI, and so it's not so good. Maybe if you, even on some web framework or something like this, please suggest me. I have a try to use it. Well, I can suggest you a thing for some antique variant. Yeah, I know. I know this is it. I mean, in C and it's really fast. Yeah, but in on C. Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>